If you ever wanted to share something from breed1.com or you didn't even know that I had a YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Discord or Instagram, well, here are the links. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you the new coin that we can mine with ethash like Ethereum does and it's called Pearl. It's also shortened as Pearl but you can download it from now on on Bird1.com from the new miner download. So as you can see over here Pearl is over there too. What I need to tell you about Pearl, this coin is doing more profitability than Ethereum at this very moment because that's always what happens with new coins. The profitability is way higher than you're regularly doing. But of course, there is a Windows version and a Linux version for this Claymore miner and it supports AMD and Nvidia cards at the same time on the miner. So for today I'm going to show you how to install the Windows version on your computer by just clicking the download link over here on buried1.com and start downloading the AMD Nvidia miner. So today we're going to be using the Perl pool that I have selected down below on the links too, but you can also go to the Perl website if you want to, to know a little bit more about the coin. But I'm going to show you how this pool is going to be doing and I'm going to stay over here because that was not what I wanted to. Okay, so here you go. This is the pearl.minerpool.net. And as you can see, this network has about 50% of all the network hash rate available at this very moment. I'm currently mining on this with all my mining rigs and I'm gonna show you how to do it with yours. Okay, so the next step we need to do for the miner is determine how much the difficulty has to be for our mining farm. So if you are knowing your own hash rate, that would be really good on Ethereum, from your whole farm you can determine which one you need because I have for example 660 mega ashes per second and as you can see my hash rate is between 100 and 800 mega ashes per second so I need to set it to a difficulty of 4 billion and by how doing this well you just need to fill in the correct port that's 8004 but if you have a mining rig setup that's below 100 mega assets per second you will have a difficulty of 2 billion and you will need to set your port to 8002 but for example if you're using nice hash and you're throwing in 10 giga hashes on this coin you will need to set it to difficulty 9 billion on the 8044 port and that's the only thing you need to remember, like determine which difficulty you need to set your whole mining farm to, because this will be the total hash rate of your entire farm on this difficulty. So keep that in mind that you choose the correct difficulty level. Okay, so the next step is to extract a Perl AMD NVIDIA miner to your desktop. And as you can see, I already did it, but let's replace everything. And we're gonna do a really simple setup over here. So Pearl AMD Nvidia is from Claymore as well. Um, it just fits over here if you want to. It's exactly the same, but this one is made for Pearl. So open it up and you will see a lot of files inside it. But we're only gonna change the start minor Pearl.bat because that's the only thing we need to change. So you're gonna hit edit. Your computer is gonna be like, hey, this is an unprotected file because it's a batch file. So keep that in mind. But the only thing you need to change in this file is your stratum port over here because remember I had 660 mega ashes per second so I will need 8004 and if you're having 100 mega ashes per second or less you're gonna use the 8002 port and if you're going over 10 giga ashes or 800 mega ashes you will need the 8044 port. So today I'm gonna be using the 8004 and that's the only thing you need to change on this. Next up you will need your Perl address and I'm gonna show you real quickly on where to get an address from this. Really simple and yeah it's really straightforward. So paste your address in there and that's all you need to do and give your miner a name. So we just call it miner1. We can also call it test or whatsoever test one that's gonna be good as well and then we need to save it up and we can run our miner. So in the meantime that our miner is going to be mining, I am going to show you how to create an address. 
Okay, so creating a wallet is fairly simple because if you type Perl wallet on Google, you will see the first one is called wallet.perl.io. Well, if you just click it, you will be redirected to create a new wallet instantly. And we're gonna enter a password just to make our new wallet. So we're gonna make it YouTube123. I'm giving you guys access to my account apparently. But we're gonna create a new wallet and we're gonna download the key store file. There you will need to keep really safely because if you lose it you won't have a recovery of your your stuff let's say of your wallet address and your coins so i understand and continue as you can see we downloaded it just over here and we're gonna go and print the paper wallet as well and as you can see the private keys over there your address whatsoever you're gonna print it onto paper in real life and then you have the thing you need so we're back, we saved our address, we saved our paper wallet, and we're gonna save it. Then it says like, hey, how would you access your wallet? Well, we can use a key store file, and we're just gonna select the one over here. I'm gonna do that real quickly, and then I'm gonna return back. Okay, so I found it in my downloads. It's been a long thingy over here. And as you can see, it's the same address as over here. It ends on 13A, 13A. Then you just press open and it will ask you for the password. So we made it YouTube123 and then we can just unlock the wallet. And as you can see, we have our account's address. So this is the address where you're gonna be mining on that we just saved onto the miner and your account balance is zero pearl. So if you want to go ahead and find out how your computer is doing on mining, you will have to fill in your address onto the mining pool and you will see the results. So I'm gonna show you that real quickly right now too. Okay, so as you can see, I have about 29 Pearl on my account and we're gonna copy the account address that we're mining on and we're gonna go to the mining pool. So as you can see here, it says enter your Pearl coin address we're just gonna paste in our address and then we're gonna look it up and as you can see we are running test number one and test number one is over here mining at this very moment we got some dev fee we found a share and another share and another share and as you can see we already mined three blocks of our own so we could have had 30 instead of 29.5 but of course this is just how it's going as you can see we're just currently mining with these mining rigs and yeah it's, it's really simple and straightforward it's more profitability than ethereum at this moment but of course after this video everyone's gonna fly onto this pool and yeah there's gonna be difficulty increase of course that's always what happens if i upload a new coin video so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one one more thing before you go away and close of this video i want to thank you for being my subscriber and if you're still not a subscriber please click the subscriber button to be a part of the buried one crypto mining community you can always go on my discord and have a chat with everyone else and really thank you for getting us so far already with the youtube channel have a nice day